Hi, I'm Dennis Cappell, and we're going to talk about the clear mental picture you need to get a horse to drive from behind. The clear mental picture here is the head carriage of the horse, the footfall, the relaxed jaw and neck and shoulders, and the hind end pushing. The goal behind this exercise is to get this horse traveling in a way that the hind end is engaged. It is also an opportunity to uh, get the cadence, the footfall of the horse to become even, but mainly to get that hind end driving forward up to the front end. This will produce a softening effect in the horse's neck and jaw and shoulders and, and the horse just becomes so much more uh, user friendly so to speak. And that's the main goal behind this exercise, uh, you know, is just, just to get the horse listening and get his body in a position so that he can perform the stops, turns, anything that we ask the horse to do easier because of the mental attitude that he will achieve doing this exercise. Note the execution of the clear mental picture in this clip. The horse's head is perpendicular to the ground. The hind end is driving forward up to the shoulders. And note the softness in the neck and the shoulders. The horse just looks comfortable and relaxed. Here we are in a training session. The horse is not in my clear mental picture. There is resistance, as you can see, in moving forward. To overcome this resistance, I use the cones to maintain a, a symmetrical circle to tell me where to go, and then I maneuver the horse's head from one side to the other as I'm moving forward in this circle. This will produce softness in the horse's neck, shoulder, and jaw, and increase the, the ability to get this horse to accomplish what I want and become and step into my clear mental picture. Here we see a close-up of my hand position in this training clip. Note that my arms are stretched out in front of me so that I'm just able to use my fingers to communicate to the horse's mouth, not my arms. Now, I think of a triangle and my hands being two corners of the triangle and the third corner being the horse's mouth. And as I'm getting this horse to move forward, I think about just softly moving that bit across the horse's tongue and this will produce softness in the horse. I use my hands in, in unison with each other to accomplish what I want to have happen. In other words, if I want the horse's shoulder to move to the left, I take both hands to the left. If I want them to the right, I take both hands to the right. All the while thinking about softness in that horse's jaw. The reason that we drive these horses from behind is to improve the posture by lifting the back, which gives a more, uh, more ability to have speed control, makes it easier to turn, frees the body for easier training, improves suppleness, and gives us better communication to the hind end. I'm so thankful that you stopped by.